Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. Well, we are just about 24 hours out or so from, of course, the end of the year. 2022 coming to an end New Year's Eve. 2023 begins on Sunday. We're still talking rain, about a half inch to an inch of rain total, maybe a little bit closer to the lower end of this forecast range. For the next several hours today, we expect things to be quiet and calm. Even by 2 a.m. tonight, we still will not have much in the way of cloud cover, but clouds start to thicken up thereafter. And we start the day off tomorrow, uh, partly to mostly cloudy, trending overcast, by lunchtime with a couple of rain showers around. These showers will continue to build in by 4 p.m. Saturday. We've got steadier, moderate rain spreading across the entire state. This continues for the remainder of the evening. There could be some breaks in the showers, so we're expecting periods of rain as opposed to one batch of just steady rain, and that will continue right through midnight tomorrow. One last push of shower activity early Sunday morning before things dry out into the afternoon. Look at this back to bright and sunny in the afternoon on Sunday, but that will likely come with some wind. So for first night in Hartford uh, tomorrow night, 6 p.m. a bit rainy, but very mild. 9 p.m. a bit rainy, but very mild. Midnight, a bit rainy, but very mild. And that's going to be the trend here uh, over the next couple of days until we get on the backside of the storm system and trend a bit drier. Futurecast also showing wind gusts picking up. By 7 a.m. Saturday, we've got gusts to about 30 or even 35 miles an hour. Not quite enough for damage, but enough to notice it. And then a much uh, more calmer trend. Uh, many more, the winds go calm as we go into uh, Sunday night and Monday especially. We actually could use this rain, believe it or not. Drought monitor still showing abnormally dry conditions for the western third of the state. State. Right now, over the past six hours, it's just been some cloud cover for us. Could be another great sunset across Connecticut. But here's the storm system we're tracking. Showers now stretching from the Great Lakes all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. This is a very long uh, storm system here. A lot of rain falling across different parts of the country. This is where we started the day off. 27 in Willimantic, 43 in Chester. Huge variations across the state. This is where we are right now. 61 in Winterlocks. That's a record. 60 in Danbury. 53 in New Haven, 49 in Groton, 46 in Bridgeport. Some of the impacts from the Long Island Sound there becoming a bit more important, uh, a bit more apparent rather. We did break the record in Hartford. So far, the high at Bradley, 62 degrees. The old record, 59, was set back in 1984. For reference, the average high temperature for today and tomorrow, 37 degrees. Tomorrow's high temperature record is 65. It's pretty likely that that is safe, although it was impressively warm today and tomorrow will likely be quite warm too. A live look on our ICAM right now in New Haven, 53 degrees, wind out of the southeast at six miles an hour. Here's a live look right now in Rocky Hill. It's these high clouds allowing for a gorgeous sunset across Connecticut yet again. Temperatures will trend downward a little bit over the next several hours, but even by nine o'clock, we're talking about temps running in the 40s, well above average for this time of year, and that trend continues. Looking long term here, six to 10 day outlook from the climate prediction sensor uh, still showing temperatures likely above average tonight. We'll watch temperatures back down into the 30s and 40s. A bit of fog possible here or there. Rain showers develop tomorrow and last into Sunday morning. Windy on Sunday afternoon and temperatures will drop back heading into Monday morning too. But even Monday and Tuesday at this point in time looking quite mild. Mid to upper 50s Wednesday next week. 50 degrees Thursday and then our Cool down comes at the end of the week where we drop back into the 40s, still about five degrees above normal for this time of year. My